Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Your Excellencies, representatives from multilateral institutions, the media, and comrades from civil society, I speak on behalf of the African Forum and Network on Debt and Development and the Civil Society FFD Coordination Mechanism. The debt crisis is a development crisis that, if not checked, will soon become a human crisis. And with the increasing number of countries that are debt servicing payments instead of social investments in education and health, is symptomatic of an international system that is working for profits and shareholder returns and not for people. In essence, we have designed a system that is presently mortgaging future lives and livelihoods for, the, for creditor loyalty and accessing global international markets. As the President of the, General, of the General Assembly noted, nations should not gamble their people's future. Distinguished members of this trusteeship council, the global debt architecture has evolved, as have debt instruments and actors within this debt architecture, particularly credit rating agencies, ha that have been lamented in this chamber by both the UN Secretary General and the President of the General Assembly and representatives from the United Republic of Tanzania. During the depth of the global, the depth of the global pandemic, credit rating agencies acted to distort any attempt by countries that were in debt distress from seeking debt relief through things like the Debt Services Suspension Initiative quoting that it would be posing a risks to private creditors. In this regard, what we are asking, therefore, for the behavior of credit rating agencies to be checked and therefore should be required through binding regulations rather than voluntary frameworks to incorporate longer-term human rights-based, gender-sensitive and SDG-aligned social and environmental indicators into their ratings. This is aligned with the, the suggested proposals by the Republic of the United Republic of Tanzania. We are also asking that the United Nations should lead the regulating of credit rating agencies. We recommend these efforts because they have been stated very clearly by the Secretary General's report in 2013, and further, the, FFD, the report on the FFD in era of uh, COVID-19 and beyond. Thank you very much.